not, again, a lot of public views that are being impacted. It's all private views. And how far local government wants to get into regulating what impacts private views is a tough call. I'm sure this really impacts the neighbors. If you're a neighboring property owner, this will be something added that you might not want. But uh, this is a, a difficult project for us, and it's a difficult project to come up with findings with. I think you are, you do have evidence in the record that it does have a significant impact to the locals who live in the area. Um, I'll try to answer your questions, but this is a tough one. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lynch. Um, back to the board. Any questions, concerns, comments to the staff, to the appellant, to public comments presented? Supervisor Pinches. I supported this cell tower project the last time around. If I supported the last time around, I certainly supported this time around, being that the height has been reduced to about a third. I do have some health concerns, but I guess we can't address that issue. But I guess my comment is if there's radiation at the pole, then there would be probably radiation at the, at the cell phone. And everybody up there seems to have a cell phone, but nobody wants a tower. Well, that cell phone service has to come from some tower somewhere. You know, it's just, I mean, you, when you order and buy a cell phone and use a cell phone, you have to admit your, to yourself that the service is coming from a, ta from a pole someplace. You know, and, and I understand the visual impact, but uh, it's kind of ironic to me that to PG&E can go up and if you order service at your house, they can put in power poles with no permitting process at all and put up a whole, go up a whole ridge, a mile up a ridge and put, put 60, 50, 60 foot power poles in and they don't have to go through any permit process, but yet a, a cell tower phone company has to go through the permit process. To me, that's kind of ironic. I mean, you know, the, the day and age, the gentlemen do they bring up some good comments about starting a, First of July, I believe, where you can't use a cell phone when you're traveling in your vehicle, which is kind of relevant to this. Uh, but like I say, I, I supported this before. I don't think I'd want to look out my front window and see a cell tower, but actually I do because that's where my cell phone has to be on a tower to beam across the canyon to get service. So I don't know. I just think there's everybody benefits and I mean everybody benefits from cell phones whether you own one or not I mean it makes access it makes safety issues I'm certainly probably in the long run it even cuts down on a certain amount of crime so uh, uh, one comment I would like to make though the uh, uh, phones that you see along the highways is not a Caltrans project that's a STIP project that the uh, Mendocino Council of Governments have done in the past and they're the ones that have those uh, call boxes up there that's that's your local county government doing that call service for you but anyways I supported this project when it come to us earlier two months ago and uh, it would be very inconsistent on me to change my position on that and uh, I understand the the visual impacts but there are things that that we have to accept and when we live with other humans for the for the common good and the common safety. And so, uh, anyways, I, I think I'm probably in a minority here, but I do support the project. Thank you, Supervisor. Supervisor Colfax. I have uh, s something in the way of a technical question. I'm not sure I understand why this cell tower somehow does not produce the kind of output that uh, an adjacent cell tower presents. In other words, why, why the Guntley Ridge is suitable in one instance but not in the other. The cone, is it the cone impact as uh, Supervisor Wattenberger suggested or is it uh, differences in terms of wattage, power, I wonder if I can get some clarity on this. In other words, is it a is it a less powerful? Please come forward. It's basically the frequency spectrum and the difference between which frequencies the different carriers are in. 
So if you have the same power, the same location of the antenna, and you're operating in two different frequency bands, your propagation of the signal is going to be dramatically different. So, so it's, it's a question of fit then, isn't it? I mean, if we had yet someone else come in here and say, w now we need a different kind of tower because our band is different and it doesn't fit either, either of the other two bands, that argument would then have standing as well. Is that, is that the idea? And if a fourth one came in and said, well, we don't match the other three, uh, then this board would be in a position of saying, well, I guess you have a right to be there too. I mean, the differences in the technology or the availability of bands is something that uh, we should not have to be saying, well, you know, uh, you have to be there because otherwise uh, your technology just does not fit or your band assignment, I guess it's assigned, isn't it, by the FCC? Yes, it is. So your band assignment is not one that fits this particular environment. Uh, how, do, how, how do you uh, explain the fact that we could just be talking about a proliferation, in some cases that may be what is happening, but why not a proliferation of towers uh, right across the ridge in this particular case. Because you're basically, you've got, you got a product, I guess, putting it very crudely, and I wouldn't want to be held to this, but putting it very crudely, it sounds to me like it's just not a good, uh, not a good fit for the location, given the fact that the uh, community uh, concerns uh, and what, what kind of a product you have to sell. Well, it just doesn't fit the neighborhood. Is that a technical question, or <laughs> what? You know, can you change your technology? Roy, with the the FCC, um, in their infinite wisdom, uh, manages the spectrum, and they they've gone through a process. They with the initial release of spectrum in the 850 megahertz, um, they had a vision at that time of what the demand would be and the the use would be. Um, the demand and usage evolved and um, outstripped the capacity uh, and, and uh, capabilities of the 850 um, such that they uh, came out with another uh, group of spectrum. And then they're, while they're the, the managers, they, there are limitations on what they can do. They can't necessarily capriciously just say, we'll take the next slice up. Those are, you know, the, there's a spectrum plan that they work from and they got the next available spectrum uh, that they recovered and that was in the 1850-1900 megahertz. And there were actually benefits as they realized that the demand was going to increase um, and have capacity issues. They came up with this additional spectrum, which has a lot of benefits um, in terms of trying to keep up with the increasing demand uh, for wireless usage. At higher frequencies, while it doesn't go as far as the older 850 spectrum, um, that is the good news that comes with that is less interference. So they allocated a larger band and at a higher frequency to address the issues that they learned, problems that they learned from the first go round in, in the technology. So the <coughs> expectation is that the allocations at these higher frequencies with these larger blocks of spectrum will be uh, capable of keeping up with the demand. Um, and, and one of the issues that, that you're talking about here too that, that needs to be captured is that the um, utilization changed in the, uh, now it's going on 20 years of, of wireless communication. You know, the cellular was a mobile technology when it first deployed. Um, it is now, it is now exceeding uh, the number of landlines. People are not going with landlines. They're just going right to their mobile. So that's pushed us into trying to serve the residential areas. That's, those are the, the complaints we're getting, is the phone doesn't work in my house anymore doesn't work in my basement, doesn't work at the business. I need, I need coverage in there. Higher frequencies 